As a curator in herpetology, I, I have, have uh, kind of joint responsibility for being a gatekeeper of uh, specimens on, to be loaned to other researchers. We've got a very large collection of amphibians and reptiles. My area of, of, of interest historically has, has been kind of philosophy of science and uh, uh, working at phylogenies of, of uh, various groups of lizards and more recently amphibians. I don't remember a time that I wasn't drawn to it. When I was maybe four, my parents were driving out to Yuma from the Phoenix area. They stopped at this place called Dateland, and a little park, and there was a little rattlesnake coiled up against a tree. I thought this was so cool. So I told my mother, and I'll never forget, she said, oh David, better go take a look at, I'm sure it's some worm or something. And it was this rattlesnake, and of course he took a tire iron and dispatched it pretty quickly. And I was sad that I'd said anything. From then on, I was just interested in animals, and my parents got me, you know, the little turtles and stuff like that. For my dissertation, I worked on a group of uh, South American lizards. But more importantly for the rest of the, the, the world, we worked on all iguania, which is a collection of about a thousand species. What it ended up doing was, was making this area popular for other people. That's frequently what happens is when you, when you do something large, it actually focuses the questions of other people and all of a sudden it just gets really crowded. So that's a fairly crowded area of research now. Systematics field work is, is quite different, say ecological field work where you set up uh, areas and you go back to them over and over and over again. I grew up near the Mexican boundary, so crossing over, I spent a lot of time in, in, in Mexico. That's been a long time ago now. It still has so many species that are unnamed that it's, it's, it's fairly interesting. People say, well, is it really necessary to, to put honest-to-God specimens in a jar and keep them for it forever? And the answer is, yeah, we don't actually know what the questions are that we want to ask is when you're doing general survey work, your first question is, is what's here? But there are all sorts of sophisticated questions that can be asked of specimens later. Everyone here in, 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 in enjoys is being able to follow their own curiosity. Because that's really what being a scientist is. is it's not that you, know, you wake up one day and, and feel like this, disposed to wear a, a white lab coat. It's, that you get really curious about, well, how does this work? That's the best thing, is that you're actually paid to be curious about things and go out and, and, and to try to find the answers.